So we're back again for another stage review. This time it's one of my most anticipated piece, the Cable Epson Studios. <clears throat> so before we start, um, at the end of this video, I would need your help to help me decide which, uh, let's say I need your opinion to because I want to see which one looks good. Uh, help me decide on which one I should pick. So basically, yeah. And as you can see, I might not be turning uh, the piece around because I, I, I broke my wooden uh, round table or something or third table. And basically, yeah. Anyway, I will show pictures for the close ups. So before we start for the piece, uh, <clears throat> let's have a background for Cable. His name is. Nathan Christopher Charles Summers is the son of Madeline Prayer uh, and Scott Summers. Madeline Prayer is a clone of Jean Grey created by Mr. Sinister. And <clears throat> basically, he was supposed to fight against uh, uh, with Apocalypse. Uh, that is the sole intention also for uh, Mr. Sinister. And but he was basically I guess saved by his father Cyclops and all the X Force and then they fought Apocalypse and in the end they defeated the Apocalypse but in return he got uh, this techno organic virus that made his arms like this. So basically that is what the uh, his background and yeah and then i just also uh read that there was this uh sisterhood from the future from a very distant future that brought him to the future uh to cure him so he was not actually in the very distant future but he was brought there by this clan Ascani. that's a sisterhood that uh, somehow also has clones and everything and then they're in the future fighting also apocalypse and everything yeah, so that's, uh, I think you can read that one in some of his origins in Factor, X Factor 67. His first appearance though was in uh, Uncanny X-Men 201, yeah, around 1986. So, going to the piece, uh, let's start from the base. The base is a very good uh, tint of blue and some purple and some really good rustic look it also has uh, this wires it's real wires in it it's somehow a little mixed media and I'm really digging this uh, mixed media thing and yeah uh, this swing is also a separate piece and the uh, base is somehow like a turban or a plain turban or uh, let's say the like future spaceship and then this is the engine and then it just yeah he's on top of it it has a very good details uh, very nice textures for some pieces or let's say some how would say uh, wirings and everything and it's actually very good <clears throat> uh, it has no dirt on the uh, I would say on the, on the base and the, like there's no dirt here and everything but it has a very good rustic look with a tint of purple and it, it, it really is very very futuristic to look at it's like a terminator kind of thing <laughs> and going up uh, to his legs his boots is very very nicely done or uh, nicely designed uh, it has a very good uh, color scheme and the design itself is very good you can see also the stitches and then somehow like the leather uh, I would just again would really wish that there's some like a dirt in his boots and or discoloration there is a rustic look coat actually here there's also some shades some shadows which is actually very nicely painted and yeah uh, going up uh, yes, he, of course he has some pads. Uh, the color of the his pants is actually very nice. It's very subdued, uh, very military looking. Uh, it has some parts, some texture, especially at the back here. Uh, I'm not I'm not sure if it's intended, but it has some texture. And what might 
nitpick is the, the back, the side of the knee. You can actually see that it's not properly sculpted. Uh, I really wish that they really made it more detailed in the back, even though you can really can see that it would be a very additional good, uh, that's a nice touch. And as the pouches in his leg is also very nicely done. It, uh, again, the same as the boots, it has this like stitches, uh, bottoms, it's very realistic looking. Even the straps have texture. And I really, I'm really digging on the, the brown pouches. It looks really military. <coughs> uh, his knife also is, this is another piece. You can actually remove this one with a peg. Uh, and then, yeah. Uh, it also has a very good, I would say, scabbard or let's say a uh, hishi or I don't know how it's called. But yes, uh, the belt itself is also very nicely done. Very good looking, let's say, grenades here. Yeah, I think the belt itself has texture. Texture, yes, it has some te texture. And the back, as you would see in the in the pictures, that there is this uh, big pouch in the back or a bag, strapping it with uh, with his harness, connecting his harness, and there's this uh, real, uh, let's say, strap, and it and somehow also has a mixed media, and it's very good touch for XM to do that. I really like having some mixed media. So going up further, so in the, his uh, upper body, he has these straps as well, or harness, with all the, the pouches, very nicely done, very realistic, with all the stitches again, and all the texturing, and yeah, very military looking kind of guy. So the, the shirt itself has some texture. I just really wish these scratches, they have a other color. So to distinguish the, the shirt on front, or there is it's just the, the, his body, or there's another shirt. So now it's somehow the same color all throughout. So that's a bit nitpicky from my side. Uh, but again, it's very nice. In the X symbol is very nicely done as well. Uh, it, it stands out from all the color scheme. As you can see, it's blue, purple, subdued colors. But this piece here is the one that making it stand out as well. Uh, and it, it adds some, like, icing in the cake. Uh, now for the arms, the arms are actually one of the very nicest pieces, of, uh, parts of this piece. Uh, especially for me, one of my favorites is this part. So as you can see here, there's this uh, li uh, wirings, all these tubes and everything. And it's really good. Uh, it has a very good rustic color in it. And yeah, uh, it's, it looks just very amazing. Uh, the other side as well um, are basically uh, just his ordinary arm, uh, but it has all these veins and everything. And, and, and I think uh, that's one of the XM's masterpieces, or let's say things that they have mastered or perfected. This is basically for the two arms, it shows the, how XM mastered or perfected the veins and the robotic. So you can see in these two arms what XM has perfected through the years. So that is a very, very good, uh, or really, really well done parts of this piece. <clears throat> the guns though, I'm not sure if there are great guns, uh, but it, the design looks really futuristic. Uh, it's just that there's not much weathering. For a gun, for, of a soldier who's been at war all the time, anytime, the gun looks very clean. Uh, as, uh, this it has some rustic plating look, uh, but like I said, it's still very clean. Uh, no dirt and everything. Uh, no discoloration. That like for example, really like different looking already, or it has a very like randomly discolored parts of the gun. So, but that's a nitpick for my side. In any case, the piece itself, the gun, looks amazing already. Uh, going up further, uh, by the way, the arms are connected by the peg, the two arms and the peg, and then the shoulder padding with all the bullets uh, or grenades are, are another piece connected by a magnet. So going up further is with the head. The head is one of, 
Yeah, actually, it was for me the best part. Uh, he looks like an Ar Ar Arnie, uh, but in some pictures, but in actual, uh, for me, he looks entirely different. Uh, he looks really like Kibo. Kibo, in a sense, like if you look at the uh, the wrinkles in his face, his grin, uh, and then the shades in the in his in in his face are actually very well done. That it somehow portrays uh, this kind of outlaw guy in, in his face. It might not. It might be that a bit clean, but the expression actually is quite good. Uh, this is something very well done for XM because normally. Uh, previous uh, pieces they don't really have a very good facial expression especially for the ladies but this guy and then also the panther they're really well done and I also like the scar even though it's a bit clean like again like I said and yeah but it's really well done the expression is really good uh, sometimes also when I, ch I, I look closely at the, the eye the robotic eye somehow weird somehow looking at this side like looking here but again, I'm not sure if it's a robotic eye. I cannot distinguish where it's looking. Uh, another weird uh, thing is the paint job and the, and the wrinkles on top. This one, it's a bit weird. I really wish they didn't paint it like that. Uh, it looks good afar, but if you look at closer, it's a bit weird. I get weird, weirded about it. Uh, so, but that's fine. And I also like the hair. I like the weight of the hair, uh, how the texture when you touch it is very nice. And yeah, it's very good. So the only thing with the head is actually it's not, you cannot switch or remove the head. Uh, I think XM wanted it this way so that nobody makes a custom out of it. <laughs> like the Magneto, I think for a company it's a good idea uh, because your piece would really be the piece that you wanted or the, the the design that you wanted but for some collectors who likes customs it's actually a bit sad because they can change it so yeah so that's the piece itself uh, and guess for the ratings I would say for paint wise I it's very nicely painted no problems um, it would be 5.1 uh, because I really like the rustic look of this one. It's really good and I'm really digging this metallic uh, feel or rustic feel and I think it's been perfected already by XM. So that's a 5.1 out of 5 for the paint. <coughs> for the sculpt, um, also 5.1 because as you can see it's very well done. The sculpt for this piece is really, really well done, especially those robotic parts, uh, the let's say the mechanical parts and everything is really, really well done. The texture in this, uh, how would say, in the in the shirt is really well done. So there's basically, I'm super impressed with the with the sculpt of the piece. So I also give it a 5.1. For the design, for the overall design, I. For me, I really imagined Kibo as someone who's an outlaw. Uh, for this piece, he looks like a soldier, like the one in, in Avatar. And it's not a bad thing, it's just that it's not what I really imagined him to be. So <clears throat> basically, I would have loved that he looks more an outlaw kind of look, uh, more like rugged. Uh, more like torn, more like with a hood or something with everything and then the base also for me it only shows a, a futuristic but I really wish it would really depict like a cable base wherein it's somehow there's this the sentinel or the robot or some ruins of like the future uh, like ruins like for example a uh, uh, a torn down Statue of Liberty, a torn down pyramid or something, some kind of like that. I would have loved it to see having that kind of base. That would be very nice <clears throat> because it really depicts cable coming from the going from the future going to the past, <clears throat> and that 
for me is very a uh, very would be a very good design. So yeah, like I said, I would love. Uh, I still like this uh, design, but I would really love the outlaw looking cable rather than the super soldier cable looking or the the soldier of fortune cable kind of of thing. So yeah, so I give the design a five a four point nine out of five. So uh, just to add though, I really like the the wires. This is a very nice touch and the mix in the mixed media for the straps. That is a very good touch from XM. Thank you XM for that. And for the X Factor of course is cable. He's one of the iconic X-Men that we all know. He's the he's really he's actually the X Factor <laughs> of the X-Men world or X-Men universe. So <clears throat> And for the no factor is the non-switchable head sculpt. For me, it's not a problem, but maybe for some day, for especially for the guys who wants to have a switch out head like with a bearded cable or something, uh, then that would be a no factor for you. So yeah, as I said, overall piece is really nice. For before I end the video, I would like to ask for your help on choosing which uh, how would say which uh, piece or which um, how would say uh, which look I would go so before that I actually forgot this we have a switch out as well uh, for the hands the one pointing and the one raising up the hand so I forgot you can see that in the pictures and yeah uh, sorry to forget about that one and so again uh, I would like to ask help from you guys to, to help me choose which one of this uh, add-ons would I go uh, it's, the cloth is not yet uh, how I'd say final I'm still looking for the cloth but the how I wrap the cloth here would yeah I need help from your side because I am I'm a Southeast Asian I'm not good at putting scarves <laughs> so because the scarf here is not needed <laughs> it's quite hot for bringing a scarf outside so yeah so basically I might need help from you with this one help me choose put the comments down below and yeah, I would also be play, uh, posting it in Facebook so thank you again for watching for for the review hopefully we can make more reviews I still have got lots of pre-orders are almost 20 so more stages to review and check out so stay tuned also subscribe in chance place uh, channel thank you very much for watching